So what we've jumped into here is uh, using this uh, polyline tool. And again, the giveaway about the tool and how you use it is these little blue indicators on the icon itself. So when you're defining a polyline, you need to define successive points. So clicking this thing and now you can see I can turn my snap modes on. I've got vertex on. And you can see now I'm going to define a point there to there to there to there. And I can keep moving around and I'm defining a continuous line. I'm not having to define a starting and an ending point like we had uh, before, right? And then to finish, I always right click and I choose finish. Or I can click this little flag down here on the bottom. So I just click finish there and then and is a continuous line, mm. okay? Could you uh, set the colors of that, please? Set that's, the another, that's another beginner question for sure. <laughs> set the How do you change the color uh, of that polyline? Yeah, okay. and that'll help us um, realize what you are drawing. Okay. Uh, All right, fine. I can, there's several ways of doing that. I can select that, and then I could go to the, uh, the color palette, and then I could actually click a different color here. Now, what's confusing is that it's still showing the highlighted color. So I actually have to click off, and then you can see the color of the selected line. Mm -hmm. So let me change that to red. So I select it, and then I go and choose the red color. But you see it's not red yet because it's still the selection magenta. So then I've got to unselect it, and then you can see that it's red. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so And then there's a fill color as well, which you can right-click in here and change the fill color. The other method is the property toolbar. So if we take a look at the property toolbar and we select a line, you can see there's a drop-down color list here, which you can go and choose the different hues and saturations and these different new colors. These things are related to if the object is a group or a block. It'll take on the color of that. And the menu here, you can see there's different gray scales or that's going to just change the color palette over here. Uh, but this is another way of changing the color of the line. This property toolbar.